So I've shampooed her just once, but I just wanted to show you guys like how serious, still dirty the coat is. It's not clean. Um, the oils and all that are still there. But the more I repeat this process, because I really want to clean her, you've got to remember she's a dog that has really long coat. She's on the floor every day. She gets walked every day. So it really depends on your lifestyle, you know. If she was inside and wasn't walked daily, I probably wouldn't have to bath her so often. But because she goes outside on the bitumen, and it's just, it's, it's black, it's dirty. So now I'm just gonna rinse her. And you can still see though, her coat is still quite dirty. But this has given us help now. So then when I do the second shampoo, it's going to really cut through that dirt and do a better job. So you might repeat repeat this twice, you might repeat this once, more. It just depends really on how dirty your coat is and how long your coat is, you know. Cleaner coat is a lot easier to brush and you don't really want to be brushing dirty coat too much. Alright, good girl. Make sure you get in all those nooks and crannies. Very important, like get under the underarms, get underneath the paws, under the bum, lift up those legs. Because you'd be surprised, she's a dog that, like I said, she's, even if she's bathed once a week, she's still on that floor and she's still, you know, getting dirty. So now I've just done, that's the first shampoo. So I'm just gonna now repeat that a second time. Stay cool. But on the second shampoo, the coat is already starting to feel cleaner and it cleans a lot better now and I use less product because now it's just getting better and better the more I do it. So I'm gonna just repeat this one more time and then I will get back to the conditioning process. Good girl. 